Hi there everybody, Verity here from inkywaterfly.wordpress.com Thank you for joining me today Today is the last day that you can join and get a free stamp bundle with your starter kit So I'm giving this um, bundle a bit of a bit of an airing because this is one of the most expensive bundles that you could potentially add to that bundle which is £56 so you could get this completely free if you join by the end of today okay £99 to join you pick £130 worth of product and on top of that you get an extra bundle which this could be the thing that you choose for free okay there's loads you can get for £130 worth of product I think it's sweets or um, product bundles or loads and loads and loads of things if you're already a crafter and you've got basic supplies just pick some, some of your favourite stuff and uh, add that to your, your arsenal so um, this bundle would appeal to someone who's already got a die cut machine um, so hopefully there's some of you out there that might be tempted by this so this is the Blossoms in Bloom bundle um, we have this great floral stamp set with loads of great sentiments that you can do in so many colours uh, and then the matching uh, dies are called mini layered blossoms and they look like this okay and they lay on top of each other to give you a really great effect I've used this a lot because I love it and um, so we did a, a new favorites blog hop and this was the, the stamp set that I featured and I did these cards just using the small stamps in that set uh, this is them just stamped and added with this plain sentiment one layer cards and um, those um, this is the dies used on their own with wonderful colors and then using a black outline and then I used white outlines with the bold uh, die cuts underneath there lots of different looks so far but what I haven't done yet is use the stamps and the dies all together and I haven't got a sample I'm gonna do it with you right now and I hope it works out okay so let's get started put those away uh, somewhere where I'm not gonna stick them. there we are so like I say I've got the dies uh, ready to go um, so my plan is to use this one with balmy blue and this one with misty moonlight so let's just I haven't done anything in advance this is this is all live as it gets really so I'm going to use some washi tape just to secure that into place so it goes through my machine I might be able to die cut both of these at the same time so what I might do is just chop that in half <coughs> and then hopefully I'll be able to cut those through at the same time it just about fit let's put it the right way up cut side cutting edge down so just a small piece of tape just to keep it in and put those onto my cutting plates from the die cut machine just move that tape into the middle actually Yep. As long as the dies don't overlap, you're good to go. Put the other one on top, and let's rock that through there. So it's probably going to make one heck of a noise, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it at the same time. So, um we will be getting our new die cut machine very soon which is fantastic news cannot wait so I still have a, a big shot I'm using right now so I'm just going to shut 
that. Don't need that. Popping to one side, so that's there ready to go. Look at that, it just comes off. Look at that. And that will you. And then we're going to use our take your pick tool. Lift that up. Oh, great. Oh, I can do that in a minute then. I thought that was all going to come to pieces so I can get this die cut as well. So let's just make sure that's lined up. Just want to make sure all the flowers are cut. Roll that through. Very detailed dies, but they're so well made. They make they cut beautifully. So that's the other one. Can lift that off just like that. Look at that. Is that fantastic? Really, really easy to use. Right, dies to one side. So we're just going to um, lift this up gently. So some of those pieces will stay behind, others won't. And it's really simple to get most of those out with your fingers on this one because they're quite large pieces. So just tease those out. And then this tool will help get out all these little, little pieces. I would normally do this over my bin and just have it sat on my lap and just pick it straight into the bin. I don't think you want to see my bin on the desk, so we'll just do it like this for today. It doesn't take a long time to do that. There is a brush tool that you can get for this take your pick tool which um, can help um, you, you rub it over a foam mat and all the um, pieces will be pushed out so again with this one a lot of these are so big you can just go over it gently with your fingers and they'll just drop out they're only being held in by their own fibers in the uh, cardstock so a lot of those will come out just very simply like that. Then we can use the tool to help us with these smaller pieces. So a bit, few more smaller pieces on this one, flower centres and things. But again, it doesn't take very long just to pull all those pieces out. Some of them are more stubborn than others though. Look at that. They're hanging on to their fibres with their pals. I love die cutting. I just think it's just fascinating that a piece of metal can just cut so much detail into a piece of cardstock. I just find it really, really amazing how they work, really. And I, I do like having um, a manual machine. You can get le electronic um, machines, which are great. I mean, if you've got dexterity problems, then obviously that that's it's a no-brainer. You get an electric one. But there's something about cranking the handle on my die-cut machine and this out the other side. I just think it's just great. It's fascinating. It's almost um, almost as um, magical to me as um, heating bossing is. It's just great. I presume that the the concept has come from industry somewhere, but I don't know the origins of it. Um, anyone knows? Let me know. It's the kind of thing. If I say that to my husband, he'd be he'd be like googling it like straight away. 
Oh, let's find out. It's, uh, I just, I just think it's superb. So it's just taking a couple of minutes. They just seem to want to. Uh, <laughs> it's ironic, isn't it, that um, every other time I've done this, these have popped out so nice and easily, and then trying to do it in front of you guys. <laughs> it's taken a little longer. Right, last bit. Hopefully these ones won't be too stubborn. It's amazing how those fibres want to hold on to each other. There we go, done. Right, let's move, I'm just going to tip those into my bin. So those pieces are ready to go lid on that before I poke myself so those are going to be put to one side just for a sec and then what I've got already here is um, the large bloom stamp is mounted on my apparatus I'm just going to put the case underneath there it gives me a platform to apply the ink this is one of my uh, card layers which I cut to for inches wide by five and three quarter inches long uh, this is soft sea foam ink now you're gonna think i'm crazy why am i using soft sea foam so i was having a look at what cardstock i had and i wanted to try and get three colors that would tone together and uh, yeah, it was, it was, um, I wasn't happy with, um, I didn't want to do yellow and purple again because I've already done yellow and purple. And then I was thinking, um, well, flower centres have often got that, that kind of hint of green, you know how they come out of the, the sepals when the sepal, um, so I thought maybe that would work because by the time the blue layers go over the top I think it would really mute it down so that's stamped beautifully I like it I like it a lot I'm just gonna grab my um my chamois just give that a quick wipe and we don't need the stamparatus again so I'm just going to move those magnets to one side and put that away what I didn't get out was my flower centers stamp so let's just grab that and I haven't grabbed the leaves yet but um just grab that out while I'm, while I'm there and another couple of blocks to put those onto I think I'm gonna go with just some so saffron for the centers those while we're here so, so saffron ink so totally making this up as I go along guys I literally have not planned this at all you're seeing it created here and now there we go okay that looks pretty just as doesn't it like it okay so that was so saffron I haven't the faintest idea what card base I'm going to use actually. Don't know. So that's that. So next we want to layer this one over the top. So I think it's going to look really good with the um, those other petals with those of that with that green. I think it's look, going to look nice once we put it all together. Now that's hanging over the edge there slightly which is slightly irritating so what we're going to do is we're going to doctor that we're going to lock that off i think and we'll be able to do the same with the other one so let's get a pair of scissors and we're just going to trim that slightly Oh, 
I'll stop those centres and they're going to get covered up. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, not planning it meant. Doesn't matter. And I'm not actually too fussed about them showing through either. Okay, those leaves are hanging over a little bit, but we'll live with it. So I'm going to apply some wet glue to the larger portions of the dye. Where we've got these um, larger bits that will get the glue on to. That should be okay. And then um, by using wet glue we've just got that little bit of room to just um, make sure it's in the right place. It just allows you just to move it around a little bit and make sure it's in the right place. with it that will do okay it's shaping up nicely right this one I'm going to use the same trick that um, I showed when I made this originally and I'm going to pull out my silicone mat and my trusty clothes peg my my glue um, clothes peg with a uh, this is quarter of a stamping sponge put some multi-purpose glue onto the uh, the mat there and just pounce that over the back of this we do have that flower that we want to remove but we can chop that off after And that doesn't look like a lot of glue on there, but it's really, really strong and it will, it will hold it in place, no problem. So that should be fine. I'm just going to move this out of my way before I stick. Fingers in it. Get it right here. And then we're going to gently, because this um, only a thin layer of glue on, you want to really careful laying this down because it will um, start to um, grab quite quickly with it just being a thin layer and then before that sets I'm just going to clip off those that little bit that we don't want So it would have been nice if I'd have orientated this a little bit better so that the um, these didn't overhang. But you live and learn. I was literally just going to go for it today um, and just see what I came up with and have a bit of a play because I haven't used the three elements together and I only like it. I really like it. It's going to look absolutely lovely. But I don't know what card base. I think it needs a coloured card base um, to offset some of the other colour. I'm not really sure which one to do. Do you think it needs Misty Moonlight? Is that what we want? Mm, decisions, decisions. It could be Misty Moonlight. I don't have any more balmy blue or maybe even grey what about grey do we really want to add another colour probably don't do we ok let's grab some misty moonlight and I'm going to have to open my new pack of cardstock Nice like that, won't it? I reckon. Okay, 
So, make the trim up. So I did all my car bases, so four and one eighth. Scored at five and seven eighths. One, two, three, four. That's what makes sure that um, the car doesn't um, do the splits. Okay, oh, that looks nice. There we are. Do we, do we want any ribbon on it before I glue it down? Looks a little more nice. Let's go for it. I absolutely love. Um, the tool ribbon, but I also love this. Um, just trying to grab it. I can see. Where's it gone? There it is. This white ribbon is this white ribbon from the um, flowers for every season? Um, collection. Really, really nice. There's some twine in there as well. We could use some of this as well. I think that would look good. Okay, let's combine the two and it'll bring in the misty moonlight as well. Okay, so let's. Let's tap that in place to start off with. And it cover up that bit that we um, chopped off as well. That just goes that a bit. So pull that tight and across the, the card like that. And then I think we're going to use some of this because it's misty moonlight, white and silver. Isn't that nice? Just use a piece of. Oops. I'm just gonna grab some tape, which is in another drawer. Just to hold this down at the back while I am. Um, just some regular tape. It's nothing special. Just wanna wrap this around a couple of times. of this um, adhesive on because there's a bit of bulk there with those um, layers of ribbon. smashing knot on a project the other day. Mm. Okay, I've done it. Hang on. Hang on. Turn it this way. So that's 
cinches that together in a really cute way. I do like that. And then we can trim those ends off. Like so. And then all we need is a sentiment. And I was intending on using the hello just as a little sentiment. But I don't know whether that's big enough now. Um, with that whether I prefer the thinking of you that might be nice thinking of you let's get that out pop my hello back I think we probably need that punched out somehow and I think we'll use Misty Moonlight ink the moonlight and we need a scrap of white cold stock oh that's not white that's very vanilla so is that bear with I've got some great big pieces but I don't want to use a great big piece I'm actually going to stamp that twice because I've got no idea what I'm going to punch it out with so I'm just going to stamp it twice in case I need something different to um, do that with. How about a stitched, oh could use a die. Could use a die. Let's get these stitched so sweetly guys. These are really cute. I love, I love these. Oh, I love them. Oh, I just use them so much. that over the uh, sentiment and run that through my die cut machine to uh, do this kind of live okay a couple of dimensionals um, top and bottom on that should um, be enough to secure that into place just going to use the minis so that will help Bridge the um, the ribbon across there. I think it looks nice with that um, that tail just hanging over it. I think it's nice. And I think we might need some. Um, do you want to add some rhinestones? I think some rhinestones would be cute. Um, my window then 
I always like to use um, an odd number of gems, so we'll just stick another one down there. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. There you have it then, guys. Something really quick. Um, so it's taken me half an hour without any pre-planning really apart from just picking out a couple of the colours ahead of time everything else so I kind of made up as I went along um, quite like that it's turned out nicely loads of different colour combinations we could have used with that we could have gone really out there with the colours and used lots of, uh, lots of different things so I hope you've enjoyed that like I say, today is the last day to take advantage of the joining offer and this could be something that you put in your basket completely free. Um, and then that starter kit's delivered for free too. So it's another saving there. Okay, so just to, as a thing, so that was Blossoms in Bloom with um, Soft Sea Foam, Balmy Blue and Misty Moonlight. And I've used... Um, some ribbon there and the stitch so sweetly um, dies to cut the sentiment okay thanks ever so much guys and uh, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow for another project okay take care everyone bye